Let's get a reaction to this morning's bank earnings. Joining us now is Chris Whalen, chairman of Whalen uh, Global Advisors. Do we, okay, normally we talk about J.P. Morgan and, and the majors, but we're maybe a little more interested in, in the regionals this time around, PNC or not, because of, of the developments of the last month? The regionals are more interesting to me just because they have the ability to grow and acquire assets. They also have the ability to, to, to what we make saw happen. Right, but... You, you know where I'm going with this. I mean, we're watching the regionals to see if there's a deposit outflow from right. what happened with Signature and First mm -hmm. Republic and the Silicon Valley Bank. No. Is, I, is there anything in PNC that you can extrapolate to the rest of the majors? Is it similar to the others? No. That duration I, I risk? Ex, no. Anything like no? No, they've managed their duration better than, than the group. That's what the first thing you do is you compare the uh, unrealized losses on their health well, insurance. Chris, you can book. see, we just showed all the, all the yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. We showed them, and they're all up today, though, so they're okay. probably not up on JP Morgan. Oh, and remember, the third quarter was horrifically ugly. The fourth quarter was better. And again, the 10 year right. Treasury is your surrogate. Now we're heading towards 3%. So the unrealized losses piece of this problem is going to look much better. And I think investors will take, you know, take comfort from that. The issue is that we still own a lot of securities with 2 and 3% coupons. Right. And it's like the 1980s. You have banks that are essentially underwater. Right. Either they'll sit with these things and just take the pain, or they'll sell them and take the loss. That's the choice they have. They, and they, when the 10-year gets down towards 3, it's awfully tempting to take the loss, loss right. and go buy a 6 or a 7% coupon. Right. And that helps a lot. So any... Uh, as yields come down based on inflation, that's helping these guys. They can they, right. they, they yes. can bolster things well, look, a little bit. They from, get a chance. They get another chance yeah. to get out of that long stuff. Jamie's making a ton of money right. uh, offering credit to the street at 7% now because of where SOFR right. is. On the other hand, yes, if you make loans, this is what right. First Republic did, right? Jumbos, that 10-year bond heading towards three, it's not going to be a bad month for the mortgage guys. They're actually going to be. But you loss. think there's a bunch of guys who are going to take the loss at this point? I think if you've got the capital and your treasurer right. standing there saying, I can go buy sevens, <laughs> but you, here's you the let question. Them do it. Wasn't that to some degree what SVB was trying to do? Meaning they were trying to raise the capital. Mm -hmm. they, they hadn't, which I think is really what the problem was, because they hadn't, they hadn't filled the well, hole completely. <laughs> but the idea was they were trying to swap what was a pretty bad deal for a marginally better deal. No, I, I honestly think they were swinging for the... the you the you fence. think they were swinging for the fence with... No, no, with that particular transaction to, at the end. No, even going back to 2019. Oh, it was a mess. I'm not... Yeah. I'm not uh, because remember what happened. I have no sympathy for that They're part chugging of it. along as the Fed's dropping rates during COVID, and half of their book prepays a 100%. year, and they buy more. But what, what I'm, no, but what I'm saying is here we have this moment, yeah. this sort of cataclysmic moment at SVB, and we knew what we we'd say that this was telegraphed, the other piece of it. But it was the loss. It was the it was it was taking the loss. It was the swap wow. of the loss. And that page that uh, freaked profile people out. The FT, that didn't help. But the, I, what I'm suggesting is if people if banks start taking the loss. Yes. Does that freak people out again? No, because if I have the capital and the income to do it and I have the strength to do it. Yes, it's OK. With Silicon Valley, I was admitting that I had a problem. And then I said, oh, by the way, I'm going to go out and raise equity. No. Well, 